guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is sarah and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back today's video is going to be a first impressions and review on the new vanessa gima and julia's place collection vanessa gima is a makeup artist and beauty influencer here on youtube and also on instagram she has amazing i'm always rooting for her she's doing amazing and when i saw that she came out with this collection immediately i saw that she released it i just clicked the link in her bio and i ordered it straight up and i'm so happy i ordered this so proud of her if you're watching this you did amazing with this collection i'm so glad to be part of the people supporting this collection so i got this collection directly from their website and if you're wondering yes juvia's place does ship to nigeria i got a couple of other stuff but those are stuff i was just restocking on stuff i've used before shipping to nigeria took um i think about four to five days yeah let me say five days yeah it took five days including weekends and it wasn't so long i thought it was going to take longer than that they told me that it was going to arrive on Tuesday, which is next week Tuesday, but then it arrived like five days earlier, right? which is really good. And I didn't have to pay any customs fee or anything. Shipping in Naira was about 7 to 8K. Yeah, it was $24, which I think is around 8K. 8 to 9k because dollar is high right now so i don't really know each of the glosses were 10 dollars which is approximately four five and then the eyeshadow was 15 dollars which is approximately 6k yeah approximately i think 6k i'm not sure it was shipped to me via fedex i just want to give you guys all the information because i know a lot of people will have questions because i when i posted this on my story quite a number of people were asking me like how i got it in nigeria so yes juvia's place is one of the brands that ships to nigeria so on my eyes i have the eyeshadow and on my lips i have the lip gloss if you would like to know what i think about this collection and what i think about this release please keep watching and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe hey guys so i'm going to start by showing you what the packaging looks like and how it came and all that so i haven't even opened this thing just because i wanted to wait for this video i've had it for i think five days now we have had it for like five days now but i just haven't touched it <laughs> so the eyeshadow comes in this packaging there are two glosses that come in this packaging one is the naomi gloss and the other one is legit nude there are swatches on the juvia's place page and also on her page so you guys can go ahead to see what it looks like because i'm quite bad at swatches guys it's not so small i feel like this is just like the perfect size this is very similar the size is very similar to the sigma warm neutrals i think that's what it's called um palette size these are the colors i'm going to be priming my eyes with the gerard cosmetics clean canvas eye base and i have the shade fair and coco here this is such an amazing eyeshadow primer, but then it can also double as a concealer. I have no idea what look I'm going to be creating, to be honest. But then I'm going to start off with slush, which is this orange color. Juvia's place is known for pigmentation, so I expect this to be pigmented, and I was right. So I'm just going to pack this in my outer V. Then I'll be adding aqua, which is like the berry color. Yeah, berry. I think that's what I'm going to call it. So now that I've caught my crease, I'm going to be using the dark shade BSG to just smoke out the outer part. This palette is so pigmented. So I'm going to be using Perfectionist, which is the marble shade. I'm going to layer that with extra because why not? <laughs> I'm just going to dust off the 
excess powder on my face. I'm going to be using the Kyola Beauty Lashes in the style Scorpio. So guys, I've gone ahead to do my lashes and my highlights. I'm just going to be using the Juvia's Place Bella Blush. I'm going to first of all wear Naomi Gloss, which is like the pinky nude one. Wow. I'm going to be using a liner over this because I feel like it will look better with a liner. So this is what the first shade, which is Naomi, looks like. To be honest, I'm not really a fan of this Naomi because I like my glosses glossy, like glossy glossy, shiny glossy. And this doesn't really give that off, but then regardless, the pigmentation is amazing. Like it's really, really pigmented, which is good. So I'm not sure I'll be working this. So let's see if I'll be working the other one. That is more of a bright nude, so I'll be lining my lips first. So now that I've lined my lips, I'm going to go ahead with this one, breaking the seal. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I think this one looks good and I prefer this one already from seeing it I prefer it and I like it and I think it looks good on me and it's it's quite glossy but don't worry I feel like because I personally make glosses I'm a bit more of a critique with the glosses but then overall I love every product I use I was to like purchase this again i'll probably only purchase the eyeshadow and this legit nude gloss this is an amazing gloss but then i feel like it just doesn't really look good on me my skin tone personally so i'll go for this and just because i prefer these kind of glosses yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching sorry i'm not looking on my bonnet i'm honestly just lazy guys and yeah i just thought i should come with this bonnet and i think it looks cute because i'm always coming here with wigs thank you guys so much for watching this video and i really hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys in my next video bye Ra, 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 ra,